this is going to be what I think is a fun build that will allow you to do insane melee damage to yellow bars and bosses, heal yourself while you're damaging enemies, and generate your Arc Strider super very quickly. Now, I know some of you say Arc Strider. Well, that's not very good in PvE, and it hasn't been for a while. It has been recently buffed with uh, Season of the Lost, and actually, it can do quite a bit of damage. With this build, you'll be able to utilize it a little bit better. And again, for something that will allow you to clear ads and to control the battlefield, I think it's actually going to be something that some people are going to sleep on, but I think it's actually going to be a pretty decent build. This build will be good in most content with a large number of ads and yellow bars and bosses. So including things like Lost Sectors, Seasonal Activities, Gambit and Nightfalls, those will be the key activities that you will probably want to utilize this build in. So let's talk about the goal of the build. So the goal of the build, again, I, I kind of talked about that briefly, is to control the battlefield, to clear ads, and then ultimately allow yourself to do as much damage as you can to bosses. This will use Top Tree Arc Strider. So obviously I'll be using Gambler's Dodge. That allows you to get your charge melee back every time you dodge near an enemy, right? And that will come in really handy in this. You also get Combination Flow. So Combination Flow is if you kill an enemy with your charge melee to do an increased damage to enemies, plus health regeneration. You can snap this up to three times and it goes on top of each other. So the key thing with this is that since you'll be dodging all the time, you'll be getting your melee back. And if you have a lot of red bars, and even as you stack this up, even some larger, tankier, mid-range adds, you'll be able to continuously get this back. And then again, you'll stack it up. Combat flow, melee kills recharge your dodge ability. So not only do you, you, get, you actually get your dodge ability back quicker, and then when you dodge, again, you can get your charge melee back. And then Deadly Reach. Dodging increases your melee range. So again, similar to things that I've done on some Titan builds, this will allow you to reach out and touch someone even easier. So on top of that, then I'm going to add Liar's Handshake. Now, if you haven't used this before, obviously if you had, you, you know what the perk is here, but I will go over it for those of you that haven't. Cross Counter. Using your Arc Melee ability or being hit by melee will allow you to increase damage on a counter punch that will heal you. So where this is going to be key in a lot of PvE content is, first off, when you're getting your charge melee, that should allow you, for the most part, especially as you're getting stacks of combination flow, that should be allow you to very quickly be able to kill ads. But if you get come up to something that's a little bit beefier, when you hit it, you're going to get some healing back, okay? But then the other thing that you're going to get is you're going to get increased damage. And I'll go over the numbers, kind of, and it's actually kind of insane, the amount of damage that you can get with this. I, I was kind of surprised myself. So let's talk about mods. So first off in the helmet, similar to my stasis build, I'm going to use Hands on Twice, which again is very cheap this season. You can still use it in other seasons, but this season it's really cheap, so it's easy to put in the builds. This will allow you, when you do melee kills, to start to get your super back quicker. Also, Melee Wellmaker. Wells, you get Arc Wells from Melee Kills. So again, those Wells are going to be things that you use later on in the build. On my arms, I use Well of Ions. If I pick up an Arc Well, it increases my Melee damage by 30%. On my chest, I pick Font of Might. After picking up Wells that match your energy, you do increased damage to weapons of that energy type, which is, again, a 30% buff. That's against weapons, though, not melee. Font of Wisdom on my legs. That gives increased super generation for 30 seconds after you pick up a well. So this is basically going up to, like, 100 intellect and basically generating your super quicker. And then finally, on my class item, I do Well of Potency. This grants me super energy every time I pick up a well. So this isn't something where it happens over a period of time. I get an incremental piece. So... You could see how all of these kind of come together to obviously you're getting your melee back, but you're also generating your super a little quickly and you'll be getting those wells very frequently because you're not waiting on on weapon kills or grenades. You're basically as you're dodging, getting no melees, you're constantly getting wells. I mean, you pretty much can't avoid picking them up. So they're going to build on top of each other very, very quickly. For weapons, I didn't really care about weapons because it's a very melee-focused build. Obviously, if you want to take advantage of Fauna Might, you could use Arc things. You could use Trinity Ghoul, which would go nice with Nightfalls. You could use Arc Rocket Launcher or other things like that. Again, it's really up to you because weapons aren't the key portion of this build. So let's talk about the melee stacking works on this build. I've done builds like this in the past, but this combo is even crazier. So first off, the base damage for melee hit is 7,103 points, which, you know, okay, that's, that's your base damage. If you proc the combo flow three times, so that's basically 
you kill an ad, you do a dodge, you get your power and melee back, you do it again. You keep doing that, you get it three times. Your subsequent hits are going to be 29,094, which is a 310% increase in damage, which is pretty good. It'll kill most things that are in front of you. If after this, you grab an arc well, for well of ions, your damage will go up to 37,822, which is a 433% damage increase, which is still really good. Once the effect of Well of Ions wears off, and if you do another hit on the enemy, you would then do 87,281 points of damage, which is an 1,100 increase in base damage, which is nuts. And most of this is done with just the native things you're doing. You're dodging around, you're hitting enemies, you're picking up wells. Again, stuff that's pretty easy to do and pretty easy to replicate over time. Now, there's something you can do that actually add to this in addition, it's a little trickier to time, but I was able to do it fairly frequently. This is, if you pick up that well in between the first hit and the second hit. So the first hit, you proc the cross counter. The second hit, you get cross counter. If you do all of that, then you get a staggering 113,465 damage on a melee hit, which is a almost 1,500% damage increase in this instance. Now, obviously, there's other ways you can do more damage if you need to. But what the key with this is, this fits in right in with your gameplay. You're always dodging. You're always meleeing things. You're always picking up wells. So it's very easy to do this and do this very quickly. Where, you know, weapons, sometimes you have to reload. Or, you know, let's say you're using a rocket launcher, grenade launcher. You might have to back up and not be right next to something. If you're in the heat of the battle, you can very quickly go in, get your melee kill, get some of the healing, and be able to stack this stuff and just do crazy amount of damage, which will allow you to take out champions and other adds that are larger, yellow bars and things like that, that would help you and do some DPS to bosses if you need to. And of course, in all of this, the thing I haven't really talked a whole lot about is you will get your arc melee supers back really, really quickly because, again, you're constantly picking up wells, you're constantly increasing your intellect to 100, which, again, will allow you to balance things out in your build. So you will constantly be getting your super back quicker, which again, helps you to do and clear out additional ads. So now let's talk about how this all goes together. So obviously with cross counter and combination flow, your melee can heal you, which will allow you to stay close to your enemies, which is a key, a key thing you'll need if you want to stay alive when doing this up close and personal. Well, this build, similar to my stasis melee build, utilize your dodging ability and melee to drop wells, but also stack up damage on your enemies to allow you to constantly kill targets and get through any PV content. With adding Font of Wisdom and Well of Potency, you will also get your super quickly, and the Arc Chart has recently been buffed in damage, but especially in boss DPS damage, so not only can you use it to clear the battlefield, which is what that's great on, but it'll also allow you to do extra damage against bosses, which is really good in PV content and makes it a viable build. And while adding Font of Might, if you bring other Arc weapons, you will do bonus damage when you pick up wells as well. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hop into my Discord. We could talk about other builds. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you, Guardians, in the tower.